just want to talk to you about vapor lock and what vapor lock is is when the fuel in the carburetor the fuel in the fuel lines and then the fuel pump boil now this happens especially today with the fuel that we have because it is ethanol blended fuel and ethanol is essentially alcohol and alcohol's boiling point is about 170 degrees and as you will know living in in the south where we do these things stay way above 170 degrees so if you were to reach in the oven with just your t-shirt to grab a hot iron skillet it burns you right so if you grab a thick oven mitt and you reach in there and grab that same pan it doesn't hurt your hand that's because you're increasing the distance between your hand and that hot pan and what you want to do is is you want to get a thicker wash or a thicker gasket than what you have the gasket you have is the paper thin one that's what came with the carburetor that's not going to be sufficient to keep the heat transfer down. So you're going to have to find either a Finlay plate that comes with two thin washers or thin gaskets like you have, or you're going to find one of these composite top extra thick gaskets. That's going to get your carburetor up off of it and essentially puts an oven mitt between the intake and your carburetor. You already have very minimal rubber in your lines, so I think that you're okay there. However, your fuel lines are routed up behind your alternator and looks like even in between your timing cover and your water pump, and they hug your intake very closely. They run so close to the intake that it's quite possible that the, the fuel in those metal lines is boiling. So I would suggest trying to reroute your fuel lines so that they can come up as far away from the engine as possible. Another thing you can do is to get rid of the mechanical pump. You can buy a block off plate. If you come right here, you can see this block off plate. And you can reuse the, the bolts that you had for your fuel pump. They come with a thin gasket. And I advise put a little silicone on the block to stick the, the gasket to the block. And then just hand tighten them in a cross pattern and snug them up real good. And the next thing you can do is you can get a electric fuel pump, which will be mounted hopefully on your fuel rail and get it away from your engine where it's going to be cooler. The electric pump's also going to run cooler because it doesn't have the friction that the mechanical pump has. So you're not having fuel boil in your fuel pump anymore. You're not going to have fuel boiling in your fuel lines and the carburetor is not going to be boiling the fuel that's in the bowl. I believe that this is the problem you're having while your engine is shutting off. And that's all you need to do to fix those things.